Five, four, three, two, one. Broadcasting live from the Newsmax studio in New York City. A fusion of politics, commentary, commentary. Entertainment, entertainment, and sports. Steve and his team bring you the latest news and opinion now. Here is Steve Malsberg. And I want to let you all know that this is a very special week here on the uh, Steve Malsberg Show. All week, every day, uh, we are going to focus on a potential GOP uh, presidential candidate. And we're going to have experts on to talk about their chances going forward. For instance, today we're going to uh, focus on Ben Carson. And we're going to be joined uh, by our, our friend Ed Rollins and also by uh, Matt uh, Towery. Uh, who will focus on uh, the chances for Ben Carson should he decide to run and will he decide to run. We have the latest polling numbers regarding uh, Ben Carson and also some of the uh, impediments that he might face should he become a presidential candidate for the GOP nomination. So that's in the second hour, so make sure you're tuned in uh, to uh, Newsmax Television uh, the entire week on the Steve Malzberg Show, all week, every day. It'll be a different candidate on the road to the White House. A um, couple things uh, that I want to talk about as we await uh, Congressman Louis Gomer, and one uh, I, I mentioned uh, with Ed Berliner, if you were watching uh, during a little crosstalk before the uh, news break at the top of the hour, and uh, that involves uh, what's going on in Israel. Of course, uh, it turns out that the killing of the Palestinian teenager was apparently a revenge killing. There have been uh, several uh, Jewish uh, citizens arrested, and three have reportedly confessed. Um, but the Prime Minister in this case has called the father of the Palestinian child and uh, not only expressed his grief and his outrage, but also promised that those who uh, did uh, murder his son will be held accountable and will serve the proper time in jail. On the other hand, we have the murderers of the, uh, Palis of the three Israeli uh, teenagers still not held accountable, still not known who they are. Um, and uh, I don't know that uh, Mr. Abbas is in any hurry to bring them to justice. All right, we're about to be joined by Congressman Louis Gohmert. Uh, but first, did you see Meet the Press? Meet the Press had the Homeland Security Secretary on, Mr. Johnson, Secretary Johnson. And David Gregory pressed him over and over and over again as to whether or not the kids who are crossing the border illegally will be returned to their country of origin. Watch. There is a deportation proceeding that is commenced against um, illegal migrants, including children. We are looking at ways to create additional options for dealing with the children in particular, consistent with our laws and our values. I'm trying to get an answer to will most of them end up staying in your judgment? I think we need to find more efficient, effective ways to turn this tide around generally, and we've already begun to do that. Right. Well, what does that mean? Are you saying it's impractical to deport all of them who are here now? I'm saying that we've already, we've already dramatically reduced the turnaround time for the adults, and we're in the process of doing that for the adults with the kids. All right, folks, uh, you will see more of that on uh, the Give Me Five segment at the, uh, near the end of this hour. We welcome in Congressman Gohmert. Hello, sir. Well, hello. How do you do? Good. Happy Fourth of July, uh, which is over. Hope yep. you had a good one, and it's great to talk yep. to you again. So, Well, it, it's great to talk to you, but this, this is a massive problem, and despite uh, the administration being responsible for the massive influx, they don't want to take responsibility for it. Well, first and foremost, uh, the president is going to be in your home state. And once again, the president, uh, the White House saying today he will not visit the border. Is that, is that a slap in the face or is that just more of the same where this president doesn't seem to care about much of anything anymore? This president has never stopped campaigning. You know, most presidents, if they get elected to a second term, then they, they quit campaigning and they begin at least to attempt governing. This president has never stopped campaigning. Uh, that's why he didn't just disengage the OFA. Uh, he's still campaigning, and so he's in Texas to suck out as much money as he can, and uh, it wouldn't hurt his feelings if Texas uh, got overwhelmed and, and had to quit bragging about all the jobs that are being created here. Uh, but that's about the only thing he cares about in Texas is the money he can suck out. 
Um, what about uh, the solution to this problem, Congressman? I mean, uh, the, uh, the Homeland Security Secretary uh, was asked over and over and over again by David Gregory, of all people, on Meet the Press, no conservative there. What does this mean? Are you saying you're going to deport them? Are you saying you're not going to deport them? He never said he's going to deport them. I mean, he basically said, you know, we have to do what Americans w w would be make us proud to do, and we have to look out for the welfare of the children. I, I think, he, I, in my opinion, I don't think you're going to see kids go back ever. Well, and that's the thing. He would say it if he could say it. And the fact is, if he just said it, it would stem some of the tide of the the tens or hundreds, as we're finding out now, hundreds of thousands that are, are coming. Uh, but they won't even say it, as you say. In fact, um, I, when I was down on the border two weeks ago in the McAllen area, that McAllen sector used to be one of the lowest uh, areas of crossing over. Tucson was always the highest, and now Tucson has taken a far back seat to the massive influx through the McAllen sector. But the uh, Border Patrolman will tell you off the record, look, yeah, in the past, like, and I didn't remember this, they said we had a huge problem with Brazilians coming in at one time because they got word nobody would be deported if you came. And all it took was sending a few families back, and all of a sudden the influx stopped overnight. That, that was uh, uh, rather amazing. So uh, I really do think, Steve, all it would take is sending some folks back and even though they're not talking about it, that's that's what the law requires. And it would be a whole lot cheaper to put some Border Patrolmen with a group and send them back where they came from, make sure they're safe going back, than it would be to keep taking on this massive influx. Our schools cannot handle this influx. We don't even know what all diseases they have. Our, our uh, health care systems can't withstand this influx. It's like having a home and inviting everybody to your home because you've got a good job, things are going well. Before long, you got everybody sleeping all over the floor, and you can't afford to feed them, give them health care, and you can't even afford to take care of their needs. This is where we're headed, and bankruptcy is one of the places you go, especially when you're using money as we do. That Really, our, our uh, currency is just a check. It used to be backed up by gold or silver. Now it's just a check saying, hey, trust us, we'll pay you for this check. But we're seeing more and more, and I saw over the weekend, you know, there's a deal between South Korea and China to, to go around the using dollar, dollars. Yeah, so, dollar, yeah. uh, you know, this is a good way to bankrupt the country in addition to overwhelming all of our services. Um, what is the purpose? What, 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 if you could get inside the mind of Barack Obama... Why is he doing this? Well, I don't know. It's been clear that he is about winning at all costs. He doesn't matter what has to be. He doesn't care what has to be said. He doesn't care who gets hurt. He doesn't care what promises get broken, uh, as Ed Klein revealed in his book here recently. Uh, you make whatever promises you've got to. But uh, in the end, they have said they want to turn Texas blue. They want to turn America blue. And if you bring in hundreds of thousands or millions of people and give them the ability to vote and tell them, as some uh, Kiko Canseco said, he had illegals in his district that were told, if you want to keep getting the benefits, you have to go vote. And uh, President Obama's lawyer is not going to allow them to ask for an ID, so go vote or you're going to lose your benefits you're getting now. That drives people to vote, and it will ensure that Republicans don't ever get elected again. Uh, I want you to hear uh, you know, your colleague from Texas, Congressman Cuellar, a Democrat, who was on one of the shows yesterday. Listen to this. The uh, president has asked for some money. He certainly can move some monies around, uh, uh, and we can handle that at the end if we want to. Again, let's keep in mind, uh, with all due respect to the administration, they're one step behind. They should have seen this coming a long time ago. They should have seen this a long time ago because we yep. saw those numbers increasing. Okay, first of all, is he going to get the $2 billion that he's requesting? And secondly, are you surprised that the Democrat Cuellar said what he said? No, uh, Henry's a friend, and we disagree on some occasions, but 
Uh, Henry's never been dishonest to me, so it doesn't surprise me that Henry's being honest about this. Uh, he, he's a, a good, decent man. But the, the truth is we shouldn't have to be asking for $2 billion. They need to enforce the law as it is. And uh, But, you know, I see I've even heard our friend Britt Hume say, oh, the, the immigration laws are a disaster. Congress has got to change them. Well, until we have a president that will follow laws that we passed, it's insane to pass a new law. And we've got to make sure the president will enforce the border as it is, have him do so, and then we can make whatever reforms are necessary after that. Right, but but, Congressman, uh, I don't want to run out of time. So, sure. So when this comes up in the House, uh, if it comes up in the House uh, for, for $2 billion, what, what, will it pass? I don't know. I'll spend $2 billion to uh, enforce the border and to uh, send people back from where they came from, but I don't think we can can start this uh, unstoppable flow of money to take care of people coming in illegally that this administration has shown it is not going to stop. It is going to bankrupt the nation if they don't stop. Congressman, always good to talk to you, sir. Thank you very Great much. Great to talk to you. Thanks, thanks so much. My pleasure. Congressman Louis Gohmert, when we come back, folks, it's the Malsberg panel, and we'll discuss this and uh, many other issues. Uh, so don't go away. You're watching the Steve Malzberg Show on Newsmax Television. Stay where you are.